welcome back everyone so today i will be showing you that how you can upgrade from windows 8 or 8.1 to windows 10 without using media creation tool and without losing any kind of data but before starting guys make sure that if this video help you out then please hit the like subscribe turn the bell notification on and you can also join my membership where you can live chat with me to fix any kind of pc and laptop problem now before proceeding you have to keep in your mind that your windows 8 or 8.1 should be activated in order to upgrade to windows 10 so on this machine i'm using windows 8 and you can see that my windows is activated so you also need to make sure that your windows should be activated before proceeding to the upgradation all right so now next what you have to do bring up your google chrome browser and in the search you have to look for windows 10 iso download hit the enter key then you have to click on the first link of microsoft download windows 10 disk image even i will leave the direct link in the description now once you come to this windows 10 page you will not find any kind of iso download option so what you have to do right click on the blank space here then from the suggestion you have to click on inspect now on the right hand side the inspect box will be appearing up from the inspect element on the right hand top click on the three dot hover up to more tools then look for network condition and click on it now on the bottom you will find user agent and on the right side you will find use browser default so you will have to uncheck this option and from the drop down you need to choose chrome chrome os now once you have selected now go ahead and reload the page and once reloaded now you can close this element box and this time if you scroll down you will find the windows 10 iso option has been available so click on the drop down choose windows 10 multi edition click on confirm select the product language so click on the drop down again and make sure that you choose the same product language that you had on your windows 8 so i'm using english united states so i will choose the same one then you have to click on confirm and now here finally you will be getting two different options and it will ask you do you want to download windows 10 for 64 bit or for the 32 bit now it's very important and you have to keep in your mind that if you are using windows 8 for 32 bit then you have to go ahead and download windows 10 also for 32 bit but if you are using windows 8 64 bit then you have to download windows 10 64 bit okay in order to find out what you can do again click on the windows icon click on windows search type system and then from the suggestion you have to click on pc info and now here you can find out that your system type is 64 bit or 32 bit on my end you can see i'm using 64 bit so i will be downloading windows 10 64 bit but on your end if it shows you x86 then probably you are using the 32 bit all right so on my end it's 64 bit so i will click on 64 bit download and the downloading will now be started now you can see it's around 5.7 gigabytes so it will take some time so wait until the downloading has been completed okay so windows 10 iso has been finally downloaded now you have to make a right click on it then click on mount and now it will display all kind of windows 10 installation file now here you have to look for the setup one just make a double click on it click on yes and windows installation page will now be coming up now here you have to click on change how windows setup download update and select to not right now because we don't want to update anything right now we can update it once installation is being finished so select not right now then you have to click on next now it will be checking your pc we are getting a few things ready so wait for some time now in case if you get any kind of prompt that say setup direct.exe has stopped working then you have to click on close the program wait for some time and another screen will be popping up soon okay so finally you will have to click on accept and now it says making sure you are ready to install so again wait for some time okay now the next screen that you will be getting will be ready to install and here you get an option that says keep personal file and application okay so you have to click on change what to keep so here just make sure that this option is being selected to keep personal file and application and in case if you don't want to keep any kind of application then you can go with the second option and if you want to delete everything then you can go with the third option okay so we don't want to delete anything any kind of file or application so we will keep this selected to keep personal file and application then finally click on next and then click on install so now the installation process will be started so again wait for some time
okay bingo so now you can see windows 8 has been now successfully upgraded to windows 10 and there is not any kind of data loss as we have our application third party application there was a folder by the name data that is still exist and if i bring up my download folder so you can see the windows 10 iso file is still exist over here so that means you will not be losing any kind of your data and application so this is the best and the easiest way to upgrade from windows 8 or 8.1 to windows 10 without using any kind of tool media creation tool and without losing any kind of data hopefully guys you found this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye